Okay, so hopefully you're here because you've been given the make your own fills sheet and you want to try and make your own fills. This is just a, a video, five minute video, whatever it's going to be, on how to use this sheet um, and how to do your own fills, okay? It's this sheet here, if you're looking on this camera, okay? The idea is you cut along these lines, all right? And then you end up with a set of cards, okay? These are just on paper. It would be great if you could print one card, but not everybody can, okay? But as I say, these are just on paper. You'll end up with these. Shuffle them up, okay? It doesn't matter how you shuffle them. And this is gonna be a live demonstration on how to use these cards effectively, all right? So, most fills that you'd be expected to do for now as a beginner, all right? Or even bands, most fills, not all of them, okay? Please remember, it's not all of them, but most fills will be, um, in 4-4, four, four, which means there's four crotchet beats in a bar, and they will take up a whole bar each, so that's four beats all together. So, the idea is, every one of these cards is one beat, all right? Get somebody to pick for you, or pick them yourself. So, let's just go straight for it. So, um, let's go for that one. So, we're gonna start off with some semi-quavers, or caterpillar, all right? Then we've picked out some quavers, coffee. Let's do this. Got some more quavers. It doesn't matter if you've got two groups with the same notes. And then we're going to finish with a crotchet. Right, so hopefully you can see that on this camera. Caterpillar coffee coffee tea. Alright. Just do that fill on one drum for now, okay? Just pick the snare drum. So on um, the snare drum. One little tip. Every card or every um, group of notes for now start with your leading hand. So if you're right handed, use your right hand. If you're left handed, use your left. There is times where that will change, but for now, try and get every group of notes to start with your right hand, okay? So let's have a go at doing that fill with the rhythm. All right, sounds okay. A little bit faster. Right, let's pick a different one. So, we'll get rid of those. Put them there. Let's use some of the remaining ones. Okay, um, we'll go with, turn upside down, that one. So caterpillar, go with that one. Crotchet, what I'm saying caterpillar, semi quivers okay? Try and get used to using the proper terms. Um, some more semi quavers or another caterpillar, okay? And then we've got another crotchet, which is a T. So this rhythm, sorry, this fill, or the rhythm of this fill will go um, caterpillar, T, caterpillar, T. All right, let's try it. All right. Good little fill, a bit faster. Now, while you're doing these fills and going through them, you probably get sick of just using one drum. There's loads of drums here. The cymbals, there's all sorts, okay? So we're gonna change it slightly. Now, what I would recommend is you do a few of these fills just using one drum for now. When you get used to doing them, all right? Then start using extra drums. You can do whatever you want, all right? There's no rule book of saying you must do a fill using this, this, and this, blah, blah, blah. Do what you want, be creative, okay? There's a set of expected sort of um, golden rules, if you like. For now, as a beginner, just use the three toms, or two toms if you've got them, and the snare, okay? So just the drums the drums that you would hit with your hands. Just for now, okay? Don't overcomplicate things. So I'm gonna do um, the first beat on the snare, I'm gonna do the second beat on the first tom, I'm gonna do the third beat on the snare again, and then I'm gonna do the fourth beat on the floor tom, all right? So we'd have All right. nothing wrong with it, it sounds okay. Um, do it in reverse order. So we're gonna have T, caterpillar, T, caterpillar. Again, that was just one drum, now let's use some different drums. You 
notice that time I just used the drums in order that they're in front of me, okay, going from left to right, so I just went round that way. Again, there's no right or wrong. Going this way around the drum kit is a little bit more difficult because, especially at higher speeds, if you're doing things properly the sticking correctly, your right hand ends up overtaking your left and you sometimes get a bit tangled up, okay? So try for now and stick to going this direction or this way, all right? Try not to come back on yourself, all right? If that makes sense. Be creative, it doesn't really matter, okay? Right, one last fill, and then let's have a go. So we're gonna quavers, sorry. Ah, I'll do it on the camera, you can actually see. So we're gonna do quavers, semi-quavers, quavers, and then tea or crotchet, okay? So we've got coffee, caterpillar, coffee, tea. Not too bad, okay? Let's try just one drum. It's alright. Use some different drums. Okay. You'll notice there, I did the first two beats, so the first two cards if you like, on the snare drum. And then I did the middle tom and the floor tom for beats three and then four. Okay? You could do all the first three beats on one drum. The little tom for the fourth beat. Are you getting the idea of this now? Just have fun, experiment. You might do a fill and you might think, oh, I don't really like the sound of that. Doesn't matter, just knock it on the head, go for another one that you do like the sound of. Um, one final thing to bear in mind when you're making your own fills you don't just have to use one drum at a time, okay? You could hit two drums together. All right, so if we take, um, this is a probably good example. If I move these two, so we've got coffee, coffee, caterpillar, tea. Do the coffees together on two drums, a floor tom and a snare drum. All right, try that. That's coffee, coffee, and then caterpillar, tea. We'll try that. We'll try um, these two drums now. Okay. We could do copies on these two drums, the first tom and the floor tom. Different again, okay? There's loads of fills just using the same rhythm, coffee, coffee, caterpillar, tea. It doesn't matter, just come up with your own, okay? Practice. There's no right or wrong. Um, if you're watching these, try and write them down. Um, write them down, try and copy the same as this, okay? And then shows what your favorite rhythm is. We'll leave it there. Um, any questions, put them in the, the comments box. And hopefully this um, video and these sheets will have helped you um, just get a little bit better at some fills and just being a bit more confident in making your own. I promise you, the more you practice fills and the more you do them, you won't need this. I can make up fills on the spot. I do not need these cards. You'll be exactly the same. I'm no different than anybody else, okay? You will just be able to come up with fills instantly without having to think okay you'll develop your favorite fills you'll develop fills that you tend to use quite often or similar fills but just get used to making it your own for now all right anyway i hope it's helped and yeah keep practicing